Hello everybody and welcome to a Halloween nail art tutorial. I know it's a little bit too early to start with the spookiness, but I will be moving during the next couple of months and won't be able to make any videos like this. Also, I was dying to recreate this bloody nail art tutorial that I made years ago on my German channel. I mixed two different techniques together to get this really cool blood effect that also has a 3D texture to it. Before we get to the video, if you enjoy it, leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Now let's start! First, paint your nails with the light color, either white, off-white or like me, this milky sheer color. To make later on the cleanup easier, I applied some liquid latex around the skin. You can also use some school glue. Further down my fingers, I also put some tape, as we all know it, removing red nail polish is a messy nightmare. For the blood, I used two different reds. They basically look the same on camera, but they did dry a little bit different. Mixing them both together gave me a perfect vibrant bloody red. Now to create the blood, as said, I used two different techniques. First, I used the most commonly used one creating splatter with a straw. Apply some of the nail polish to one of the openings and blow through it. Make sure the nail polish creates this kind of like fine veil on the opening for it to work. If the nail polish just sticks to the sides like this, if you blow through it, nothing will come out. Okay, this is going to sound a little bit weird, but try not to aim at the nails. Try to focus on the skin, the finger or even the paper around it. This way just little bits of the splatter get onto the nail, rather than just one big splash of red that takes up most of the space on your nail. This is just basically to lay the foundation for the nail design. Next, take some of the nail polish and put it on a piece of paper or tin foil. Let it dry a little bit so it starts to become rather thick and clumpy. With the paper clip, keep stirring it. It will make the process a little bit faster and you will know when it's ready. When the nail polish starts to create these kind of strings, you know it's ready. Now you can start creating the really cool 3D blood splatter on your nail. Rest some of the nail polish on your skin and string it over the nail. You can also create some dots on the nail directly. Honestly, there is no correct way to do this, just go with the flow. I actually have used this technique before to create some really cool chocolate nail art. When you're done, let this dry completely. This is going to sound a little bit crazy, but it can take up to one hour because of the thick nail polish. But I think it's totally worth it for this cool effect. I mean, this is not like normally waiting for your nails to dry, so you can do stuff. Just be careful with your nails. For example, it's not a good idea going to sleep right after this, because it will flatten the design. Now remove the latex from around the skin, clean up wherever it is needed, and you're done! Quite easy, right? It takes a little bit of time, but it's so worth it. I've gotten so many compliments on these nails today, it's crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to subscribe and leave me a thumbs up and I see you next time. Bye!